Ashley with Baking with the Bakers. Um, we are going to make homemade pie crust today. Um, I'm getting ready to do an apple pie tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and make the crust, the dough for the crust tonight. It's really simple, really easy recipe. All you have to do is throw the ingredients together, make sure it comes to a form of a ball, is not too sticky and not too dry, then throw it in the fridge that's all you have to do but I'll show you how to do all of it you're gonna gather your ingredients you're going to sift five cups of all-purpose flour you'll add two teaspoons of salt you'll need some ice water uh, the amount kind of depends uh, you'll need at least 16 tablespoons And you'll need three sticks of butter, cubed and cold. So make sure you don't have your butter sitting out at room temperature for a long time. I'm going to sift this flour the rest of the way. I'm going to finish chopping up and cubing my butter. And then we'll start getting the pie crust ready. All right, we've just added our salt to our flour. Now we are gonna dump in all that cube of butter. And it is a lot. All right. And now we are gonna use our pastry cutter to cut in this butter to the flour mixture and mix the salt in. You're gonna do this until the mixture has pea-sized crumbles of butter and flour mix together. You'll see it once we get to the end here. Once you've got your butter thoroughly cut into your flour mixture, it should look about like this. You can still see the little patches of butter, which is exactly what you want, so you get a nice flaky buttery crust. Yeah. Now we're going to add our water gradually. Because this is such a big recipe right here, I'm going to go on and add about one third cup of water and start working the dough. It's also best if you remove your rings before you do this. Because you want the dough to come together in the bowl and not on your hand so much. I'm going to continue working the dough like this adding water gradually, scooping off the sides, and working it into a ball. We'll see you at the end. So, I've actually made a mistake here. I added too much water at one time and the dough is too sticky. If your dough is doing this, it's too sticky. So you're gonna to wanna to add a little more flour. So what we'll do is we'll add more flour and roll the dough in the bowl until it comes to a ball <laughs> shape. That's what we want. Mama, I need a drink. You need a drink? Yeah. Okay, let's add this flour and we'll get you a drink once it's in. all rolled in, okay? Oh, it's rolling. Sugar. That's not sugar. The dough actually doesn't have any sugar in it. I'm seeing. 
and me. This is what we want. This right here. This and that right there. Still a bit sticky, but much less than what it was. This is what you want right here. Let me go to the side. Once your dough reaches the right consistency, you want to wrap that up in plastic wrap. Make sure it's nice and covered all the way. And then you're going to throw that in the fridge because you don't want that butter inside to melt. You want those pockets of butter in that crust. 